Hi guys, welcome to Dirty Tech. This is the Sonifer X 4150 Enterprise Server. So one new server, and it's loud as hell. This is a rather large chip thermal paste. Screwdriver, kitchen roll, and something to remove the old thermal paste from. That's right, today we're going to replace the thermal paste on the dual processors in this server to see if I can get it to quiet the hell down a bit. It is a 1U, it's going to be natively loud as hell anyway, but this one pretty much seems to run full tilt all the time. So, let's just see if we can change that. Zoom it in slightly, let you get a better look. I haven't bothered setting up a microphone because, well, I just want to do this quickly. It is probably still warm because it has been on for a little while. So, we'll just unscrew the heat sinks. This server is probably about 8 to 10 years old, so... I expect the thermal paste is probably past its best. I'm trying to keep my hands out of the way, but it's kind of hard to... It actually seems okay. Yeah, no, it's all dried up and screwed. So, what we're going to do is remove the old thermal paste. This is the equivalent of isopropyl alcohol, basically. So this will account for at least some of the noise coming off the system because the lack of thermal interface compound or in this case old thermal paste compound basically means that the heat isn't being efficiently transferred to the heat sink so the fans spin up really high and the fans on this spin to like 8 or 9 thousand rpm and given that uh, that's the size of the fans. They get kind of loud. There is 14 fans that size in there, so obviously they can generate a lot of noise. Let's just uh, clean it off the processor as well. So I don't think this thermal compound has ever been changed. So these are uh, these are quad core Xeons that are in here. Can't remember the model number exactly. These are E fifty four forties. So there's two of these in this server. So what we'll do now is we'll fire the thermal paste back on. There's a number of ways people do thermal paste. This way will probably suffice for now. Because I don't actually know where my spreader is for it, so yeah. Can't be any worse than it was before. I don't think. Yeah, I'll put a bit more in the middle. Screw it. Probably gonna go everywhere, but still. These are kind of sharp as well, actually. I didn't expect it to be just quite sharp, is it? Yeah. 
you don't want to screw them all the way down at one side, you just want to kind of like gradually screw them tight. The screws will stop you over tightening because they, they, they go to a stop. That's one done. Let's do the next one. So I use this server for uh, virtualization, it runs VMware. It's pretty much just for testing stuff. Pretty cheap. Get them on eBay for probably less than a hundred quid now. Again, all the thermal paste is all screwed, basically. So, same as before. thermal paste off. It's been longer that long, you can actually see the where the uh, the corrosion has kind of gone around it. So it's corroded except for where the thermal paste has been. Yeah, Second processor as well. I can get it so you can see. Don't want to put too much on the processor just in case you kind of overspill it. And that would be very bad. Very bad. Okay, we. Blow up in the center. That would be awesome done with the thermal paste. Same as before, you don't want to tighten, uh, tighten it down all the way at one side. You want to kind of tighten both sides down gradually. See, they won't let you over tighten it, they only go so far. All that's left to do now is fire the lid back on. And we're done. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see more with this server, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, please subscribe.